Yeah, yeah. We should be good now. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hey, Salakia. We don't know what that is. Prince of the power. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Prince of the power of the earth. Salakia. But uh, <clears throat> we, we get back straight, you know, straight into it. You know, uh, first and foremost, and power two. Yeah. How well by Shem, you know, by Josh. I want to say double untied elders, like great apostles, great millstone, GMA. No rule where and teach where being great example to Israel. All right, man, the elect will say peace and blessings, you know, to the hope of the four corners, because the truth and sincerity. All right, the great song on the brother Nabai to my left. I'm brother Hanak. All right, just a little, um, you know, lamb back video, you know, of the elder Kazak, you know, saying GMS been sipping. And basically, he had a video going into um, his life after a woman. You know, basically, us growing up in Babylon, the great, you know, we have been taught that woman was surprised, you know. But you know how you know the American dream. Mm -hmm. The American dream was a, you know, you go to college, graduate, you know, get the big White House, the, mm -hmm. the picket fence, you know, the woman and the dog, you know, have a couple of kids. Mm -hmm. That's the American dream, you know. But you know that's a lie. All right, that's a lie, man. When you when you come into the realization of who you are, as a as, as a person, you come to the realization who you are as a people, your nation. You know, going back, you know, get back into our heritage. You know, take back to the uh the ancient uh the ancient of days, the old, you know, becoming, you know what I'm saying, take back to being an Israelite. Uh, we understand that the man is the prize, man. All right, and have always been. You know, the, the woman, you know, she she is for a reason. You know, she have a purpose to serve, you know what I'm saying, you know, the duty to her man. All right. But you got that uh, Jeremiah yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah that, that's beautiful, man. Because as we see, you know, as we continue to watch Babylon, you know, be, you know, unfold, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, be destroyed, all right, we see how the woman's been put on a pedestal, all right, and, and deemed so highly in this society that a man, all right, think, you know what I'm saying, act like, you know what I'm saying, he nothing without a woman. Yep, yep, that's it. You know, our minds have been destroyed, man. And these women's minds also have been destroyed, you know? But yeah. this is what? This is Babylon, right? Yeah. But we get to the uh, Jeremiah. Yeah, this is Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? Right, and they were speaking about you know, us as being Israelites, yeah, man. You know, we were going to, you know, all the other philosophies, you know, worship the other gods with the other nations, you know? So, hey, we, we played the harlot. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And this, and this is a judgment. This is a judgment towards us, really. Mm -hmm. A woman beat out of order and stuff like that. Hey, that's right. You know, and we played the harlot, so the most high, you know, had a spirit on our women to play the harlot. Yeah. So, so and they've been know, promoted yeah. in what? Music? Uh huh. Yeah. Movies? Mm hmm. TV shows? All right. Go ahead. It says, For the Lord has created a new thing in the earth. Yeah, because going back to the ancient time, you know, the woman knew her place. She knew her man ruled the household. You know, she knew her man was the head. She knew not to say certain things to a woman. You know, I mean, it's to a man. You have women these days, they cuss their man out. Yeah, yeah. They talk to him any kind of way. You know, they treat him any kind of way. Well, there was even, uh, Jake was more intact back in the 60s. Jake had, there was, they had structure. Know, they had, there was still structure, you know, yeah. the woman wasn't, you know, the, you know, the woman wasn't in the labor force like that, and you know, what's it called? Uh, women's lib just started, just yeah, started. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Women's liberty. Yeah. You know, women's liberty, which which is going into that. That was part of how the Most High manifested his prophecy right here. Yeah. You know, through Esau Edom, this so-called women's liberty, going all the way back to the garden. That's pretty much what uh, uh the, the serpent told Eve is liberty. Uh huh. You see what I'm saying? You're gonna be like a god. So much so now we have uh, there's a spirit in the ear, in the, there's a spirit in the in the uh, air, right? In the world, which is called blacks, saying that the the, the woman is is God. The black God, woman is God. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it says, for the Lord has created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. That's it, and that's what you have, man. 
But now, us coming back to who we are as men of the Lord, we see. All right? No. The Lord said he going to make man more precious than fine gold. We are the prize, man. Because a woman, you can't be saved through that woman. All right? A woman can only be saved through, through a man. And you have to be a man of the Lord. We'll go back into the title. We don't have the title now. But Esau messed with the video when we had the title. You know, uh, a woman is not going to say she don't need a man in this time. She's going she's gonna to want to actually, she's going to need a man in this time. Yeah. You know, there's all this independent. I can do by, you know. I can, I can do, do all by, bad by I, myself. Yeah, I can do bad by myself. Yeah, because you have men, you have Esau, Edom, his society of men is protecting you. That's the reason why. Yeah. Basically, when you were saying um, how you're making an example, how um, a woman don't need a man because she got everything on call. Mm -hmm. She, if some break down in the house, who she call? There's a man for everything in this society now. Yeah. So the the role of a man, a husband, has been broken up and distributed to multiple different avenues. Yeah, so you right. got the the mailman, he comes to get your mail. Yeah. You know, you got the uh, the, the delivery guy, he comes to deliver things for you. You got the person that come and fix your fix the things in your home. Yeah. So you got oh you can you can uh, uh export. Uh, your children being watched so you can go be a little hoe yeah you know you can go you got your little job you can be a little hoe you can go and give your children to uh the the, the daycare yeah. you know what i mean and do that you the the baby daddy you can get child support out of him so you don't need him you get child support if you if you in trouble who do you call you call a man the police yeah he there and, and they don't do anything for you yeah you see what i'm saying so a woman don't <laughs> like you don't need a a woman doesn't need a man so called in right. this because everything is basically is, handed to them. It's, it's handed to it's, them. It's at their expense. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they can be out and do and say whatever mm -hmm. they want to say. Because Esau daddy, was it say daddy Esau, mm -hmm. he got their backs. You know, you think about section A, mm -hmm. you know, uh the insurance they have, you know what I'm saying, get certain benefits. They don't really need a man. Or even setting up these societies in which it's um these metropolises, these mother cities, which basically, uh, that's what the word metropolis basically goes into, is basically these cities are designed for women, for the yep. comfort of women. Look at the stores. See what I'm saying? Oh, look at the look at the toilet in your house. That's not a design for a man to take a piss. The little for bowl. A woman. Yeah, it's, it's for a, a woman. It's for a woman. Yeah. Yep. A man need like a more like a urinal type deal when you go into like a. You know, like a, a, a the mall or something like uh -huh, that. The stand up job. The stand up thing. So yeah. this this whole the, the bath, the bathtub, this small ass bath. That's for a woman. Yeah. Men don't just be taking baths. And no, so men take showers. Men take showers. So yeah. it's this whole society is is set all the electricity and shit like that, and it's all the beds and shit. You know, uh, everything is 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 made these streets and shit. I mean, of course, but everything is, is set. These uh, grocery stores is really set up for the woman, the comfort. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the department the department store where you get the clothes. Because what happened before that? Women made their clothes. Uh, Women made the clothes for their whole family. They didn't go and buy clothes unless it was like, you know, buying material at like a, yeah, a yeah, market yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like that. Like, uh, cloths and stuff that mm -hmm. you need to, to sew, things like that. But yeah. Esau, a man, he sets up businesses where he, he makes that shit uh, uh, in, 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 at wholesale yeah. and he sells it to you, yeah. right? So you don't, yeah, you don't need a man for, you know, so-called living this, this uh, false reality, this fairy tale, battle on the grave. But see, we're coming to a time where you're going to actually need a man. And yeah. not just any man, you're going to need a man of the Lord. Yeah, because right now, you know, women say it's a difference between needing and wanting. Want yep, they, yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, I want a man. I want this, I want that. It's way different when you say, I need. You know what I'm saying? I need a man. Mm -hmm. And then that day is coming, now in the Jacob Trouble, you will need a man in order to survive, man. Mm -hmm. Not these bullshit ass movies that we be watching because most of these movies, these action movies, you know, they got a lot of women that be playing a man role. You know what I'm saying? A woman just know how to fight this damn mm -hmm. good. Shoot that damn good. Like the woman just kicking ass through the whole damn movie. And these women are proud of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But no, this is not reality, man. Yeah, yeah. Time has come that, all right. It's going to come to, all right, you women on a large scale, man, that guess what? I don't know how you're going to be exempt or saved or protected if you have a man of the Lord. That's it. You just going to have no uh, no regular man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like JoJo or Jerry or Greg. You know, they, yeah, they're a good man. 
But if they're gonna save you from the destruction, yeah. if they're gonna save you from uh, uh, Esau kicking down your door. Well, Je well, Jeremiah, Jeremiah saw uh, men with their hands on their loins, like they were giving like birth, a woman. like a woman. So they gonna be the men are gonna be as women in yeah. that day when this thing comes. So who's gonna be like the real man? Who's gonna actually be the real high value man? There you it's go. gonna be the uh, uh, the men of Yah Bashmal Shah. There you go. That's the true high value man, and that's gonna be appreciated. That would now, in, th in this amount of time, boom, just like that, the men of the Lord are going to be appreciated on a whole nother level. I'm glad I got him, girl. You know what I'm saying? It's going it to be that way. It's going to be talks among themselves, all right, uh, basically, you know what I'm saying, joyful that they mm -hmm. have a man of the Lord, all right, because they're going to be seeing women's, and they're going to be seeing men's, all right, get put to death at a higher rate than yeah. they ever saw before, man. That's it. This is this the time that we're coming to knowing that Jacob's trouble. All right, so we're going to get into the second Andrew 16 mm -hmm. because remember, you were speaking about it earlier. It's not only for the men, all right, they got to go through these hard times. Mm -hmm. It's you women too. Well, they part of Jacob. Yep. They're, yep, exactly. There is more women, it's more women Israelites than there are men Israelites. Yep. You see what I'm saying? So this second Andrew 16, it started at 17. It said, Woe is me. Woe is me who would deliver me in those days. In the beginning, it's like a, the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death. Yeah, we coming into these beginnings. Well, the majority of these women, they're not they're not uh, occupied. I'm not so much, the, the, you know, the few sisters that listen, you know, they get in tune. I ain't talk about them, but mm -hmm. the majority of women, they're not occupied. They're not occupied in prophecy, first and foremost, and they're not occupied in the different events that are taking place in the earth that's going to lead us into this time. All right, because you you got you got war you got war on like two fronts and it, mm -hmm. and they're they're having talks of nuclear war, okay? They're having talks of, of shit uh shit breaking down where you had the long shoreman strike, which they they uh, but it was put it was really pushed back until until January, where uh, supply chains could be broken down. Now these goods that come into the stores, okay, your feminine products, your baby the, the products for the baby, okay, the the products for you. You see what I'm saying? Food, all that can be shut off in like damn there instantly. That's right. And then it's then it's gonna be go back to the 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 all to the jungle, you know uh, uh 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 you know the what is the 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 predator the predator and the prey. Mm -hmm. Meaning if one animal is stronger than the other animal, then you're done. A doggy dog world. A doggy dog world. Yeah, but this is the beginning stage. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it says. And, and, and the okay, power. Okay, so going back to the video, right? The video, you have certain women that's starting to see that, right? Certain women are like spiritual. They're actually like, oh shit, something is happening because a woman is a survivor, right? A woman survivor, so she's going to try to jump on a team that's going to win. That's right. And as she sees this, this place and she's experiencing these things, she's going to try to jump on a winning team. That's it. Just like that woman. She's like, I need a man. See what I'm saying? Like you, you, who, who, who where? I, you know what I mean? I, I need one. Yeah, and that's the game that women's play dealing with uh, the, the NBA players and football mm -hmm, players. Mm -hmm. You know, saying so they go out, present themselves, they put their nice fine clothes on, you know, they they pay for, and they go sit at the bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they they scope. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They scope who is best fit for the you know what I'm saying yep. to protect me, provide for me. How they look mm -hmm. all right so how much more in the time of women gonna be out and, and what, you, what you call that how uh the coaches and shit we had a basketball player scout yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now they doing it they already do it bro, yeah, the gonna be scouting man you know for a man of the lord well they already do it these women are already on the videos they scouting but yeah. it's gonna get serious where they gonna slide in your dms that's right and it has happened before yeah but it's gonna get serious like that see right now it ain't like in their eyes it ain't serious you know they they still testing the waters. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Like uh -huh. I'm I'm still independent. I'm yeah, it's cool, but it's gonna be a time where hey, they gonna be now. Nah, what what's up? You know what I mean? They gonna You're be right. going. You know they be popping up, popping up at the camp. Oh, when we went to um oh that's the spirit. When we was in uh me and the brothers, we went to Atlanta a couple weeks back, right? When we went out to camp. There was a woman. It was a sister there, literally there, looking for her husband. Literally came was at the camp. The whole camp. And basically was looking for her husband. Her grand, her mother was uh, watched Great Millstone and said, you need to go out there and get you a husband. So she was out there in her little dress, her little head wrap. 
Because. Basically, scope's doing the same you was talking about, scoping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sitting right there, you know, basically waiting for, you know, waiting for a brother. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And that's yeah. how it's going to be. These women are going to, that time they're going to be like, I need a man. And they're going to have to, you're going to have to bow down, too. That's it. Okay? There ain't going to be no man uh, bowing down to your ass. You want to bow down and serve a man the way that the most I set it up. That's it. And if you don't like it, you can go out there. You can go out there with the zombies. Yeah. You can go out there with the, the cannibals. Well, you can beat this. You can experience this. Okay. Yeah. That's it. The beginning of sorrows and great mourners. The beginning of famines. You can experience that famine. What did the scriptures talk about the elect? The elect going to eat. Yeah. They're going to drink. They're going to drink. They're going to rejoice. Yeah. Or you can be in the congregation where you're not going to eat. You're not gonna drink. Oh, and you know how when you see you women are so under delusion. Do you know really when uh, uh um, you know men how how they gonna treat a woman in that time? They gonna be passing. This is already a sick world. That's why the Lord set it up with with uh with order. Okay, every everyone has a husband, and you know you see what I'm saying. You you're in order under the husband, and that's your hedge. But when you ain't got no head, these men out here they they freaky. Yeah. They mad. Say they said they gonna they gonna be ravished. They gonna be rap and they you just not gonna get ravished by one man. No, this this trying it's trying. Try, try. They gonna they gonna they gonna tear you up. Yeah, and okay. it's gonna be the Lord judgment uh, upon you because it says, uh, "Thy sin shall be thy own accuser in that day." So you like you got women that do OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. They yep. twerking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, they showing their body on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Oh, that's gonna cost you. Yeah, that's gonna cost. Cause certain you. men that's that's want you, they design you. Like you said, they got freaks. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got really sick men out here, and they praying on you. But it's gonna become a time that you ain't gonna be able to call nine one one. And see, the Lord set it up so righteously because if in the ancient kingdom, if you was to pray on a woman, you grab a woman, she was single. Well, that means you you got you, you got to take care of her. You got to take care of her. Yeah. You gotta give you gotta give the father money. Yeah. And you gotta take care and you can you can't put her away. No, exactly. In this society, he can just take advantage of you and just drop you off to the side. Now you now you spoil goods. Yeah, and, and, and he hold no penalty. No penalty. He ain't gotta at pay all. the father. He ain't gotta go to jail. You know what I'm talking about? Like, like it's the time that it's over with. You gonna be call your big brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? To come protect you, fight him off. It ain't gonna be none of that in that time. You ain't got a man of the Lord, it's over with for you, man. See? Now, these are the times that we coming into hard time. That's why it's called Jacob Trouble. That's right. You know what trouble mean? You know? So it says, um, verse 19, Behold, famine, plagues, and tribulation, mm -hmm. and anguish are sent as scourge for amendment. So the Lord is, is jacking this place up and even, you know, uh, putting really putting the elect through the, through, the, through the furnace of affliction. That hell, okay, which... Those those are supposed to be for amendment and basically repentance. Yeah. But this place is so reprobate that they're, they're doubling down on their wickedness. Like, oh, uh, New York just uh, decriminalized adultery. You're right, exactly. I saw that this morning. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. uh, New York just decriminalized adultery. It's no longer illegal. We can't prosecute, but it was still on the books being illegal. Yeah. Okay. You a man sleeping with uh, another uh, a married a married uh, a woman. Right. You see what I'm saying? In California, they'll try to pass the law uh, dealing with the um, with the uh, the children. Yeah, the children. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. The, the, that, that, that was out in San Francisco. Yeah. Well, I believe one of the state representatives, something like so-called small hat. Yeah, so it's getting it's getting wicked out here, man. It's, it's getting it's getting it's getting wicked out here. Bro. And and that and that that covenant that you had with Esau Edom, he going he not gonna even honor that. Okay, he not gonna honor he he not gonna protect the black woman no more. He he already he already got what he wanted to get out of the black yeah. woman. Now now you now 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 you want the black man now. Now you want see there's a movement within the so-called black woman community screaming why the black man ain't protecting us. We need the black man. I want a black man. Mm -hmm. Well you done you done threw him through the fucking mud. Yeah. He don't want you no more. He going with yeah. the Asian woman, he going with the white woman, yeah, he going with the Latin woman. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? He going he with leave, the East Indian woman. Well, he leaving Keisha behind. He leaving Keisha behind. Okay, you're gonna be in a real bad situation. Okay. Yeah, hey, because like the scriptures say, never trust thy enemy. That yeah. wasn't just for the Israelite yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That for the Israelite woman too. Want me to bring out uh Micah? Yeah, yeah. We'll bring it out. We can go back. Just going going to what you were saying. 
never trust thy, thy enemy. And this is what our women have failed in. You, you go back to, you know, back in, in slavery, it, it, was, it was a fight. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But as the so-called white man had continued to get the woman liberty, to gather abroad, they had became more disobedient to their husband. Mm -hmm. It was a fight, man. You watch them old slave movies, you know, them, them women's fought, you know what I'm saying, to, to keep their house, and you know what I'm saying, the men, you know what I'm saying, keep it in order. You yeah, know? there was some type of order back then. Yeah, exactly. It, it, like it, you said, in the know? 60s, mm -hmm. 50s and the 60s, Jake, Jake had a, a structure in the house. Yeah, because you 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 look at like your great, your great, your grandmother, your great grandmother, they, they most of the time they was together. You know, they, they, uh, you know, uh, they stay together. They be married 40, 50, 60 years. You see what I'm saying? Nowadays, shit. You don't know your daddy. The dad leaves. You know, there's no order established. The order of y'all is not established. Nobody respects that order. That's right. Okay. So now coming back to the heavenly father, we must uh, respect that order. Yeah. Okay. Well, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. There you go. The man, the, the woman, and the child. There you go. There and, you. And, and anytime, it, anytime. Uh, any uh, any individual, Yahweh Shai ain't gonna get out of order. Anytime a man get out of order, it becomes all the way down. You got men. You got men in the scriptures. Their whole family was judged at, because of a sin that they did. Yeah. The whole family put to death. So you see how the order is very important. So on the other hand, of that if the man is in, uh, is in order and, and and doing the will of the Lord, where is that gonna fall upon? It's gonna fall on the, in the women mm -hmm. and the children. Yeah. Everybody in order. Everybody in order. Everybody. Everybody's protecting now. Yeah. Okay. But well, let me get that in Micah seven, as you were saying. Oh, yeah. Never trust thy enemy. Micah seven and ten. Then she that is my enemy shall see it. What's she gonna see? She gonna see that what we have been saying for so long, all right, come true. All right. That's what she gonna see, man. You know, she gonna see the so-called white man that have no um, no dealings with her at all. Mm -hmm. He only deceived her. All right. Go ahead. And shame shall cover her. See that? Shame gonna cover her. Damn, he was right. You know, damn, the man was right, man. And guess what? You're gonna be ashamed. And it is gonna be, well, what well, the scripture say in Daniel, the second chapter, some shall wake up to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting content. Mm -hmm. Because that shame that you're gonna bear in this time is gonna be shame unto destruction. Yep. It's not gonna be like, damn, you just, it's just a shameful thing and then you just go on about your life. And you heal from that. Oh no, no. That's still your that's still your faith. You know what I'm saying? Cause you got certain women that had, you know, men of the Lord, and they not with them anymore. That's still your faith right there, man. You know? That's still your faith that you're gonna be destroyed because that man is no longer have no value with you. That's a scoffer. Yeah, that's a, it's a bug out. Yeah, that's a scoffer, man. Yeah, it says, and shame shall cover her yeah. which says is the Lord thy power. And that's the mindset of the women today. Yeah, yeah. They want to know like, Esau. That's why I say so-called white man and the women, it, they, they could hoops. Well, look, just alike. Well, look at the, the serpent. The serpent didn't come to the man, Israelite man. He came to the woman. Because mm -hmm. they got kindred spirits. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? The woman is a, is a weaker vessel. That's all. You can easily you can easily manipulate a woman. Right. Especially if you come with power. Like like you was going to the NBA player. Like an NBA player represents power. Yeah, because they know, got money. They got money. In yep. this society, that's the, the, the highest pinnacle. So you, you, you uh, NBA player can get any woman they want and tell the woman to do whatever. he uh, Take your clothes off right now. And she'll just do it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Do this. Do that. Oh, yeah. Really? Really? Uh, God God is actually a, a, a spirit of, of two creatures. That, you know, some bug out shit. Wow. Or, or Islam. Because the woman is going to fall after the man. Yeah. So that's why there has to be uh, order established. Okay, for the woman, the woman to be in order. The, the man has to be in order first, and that's what's happening with the men of the Lord. The Lord is setting his house in order with the men first. Yep. Then Isaiah 4 and 1, we're going to go into that, and judgment and destruction is going to bring everybody else back in. You that's see what it. I'm saying? That's but it. certain women are getting the picture now. There's certain sisters that that have got the picture. And, yeah, came you know, back to the obedience. Came back to that obedience, shall want to them sisters. You yep. see what I'm saying? Yeah. It says, um, Where's the Lord thy power? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. And that's the time of what? Check of trouble. All right? A lot of women's going to be left without a what? Without a head. Mm -hmm. See, the man of the Lord is known as a hedge, man. You go to Isaiah 32. You, uh, 32, it started at the top. Uh-huh. Yep. 
Yep. Isaiah 32 and 1. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. There you go. And yep. let's talk about who Yahweh not first and foremost. Yep, yep. All right. Then you got the who King David, the twelve, the elect. Mm -hmm. All right. The elect, man. Go ahead. It says, and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. And that's in the hiding place from the wind, the wind is talking about what? The destruction. All right. In the um <clears throat> in the hiding place is what? Us. Mm -hmm. You know, says the, the men of the Lord. So a woman, if she get with a man of the Lord, she would be hid in that day of the way, a, a wrath. Well uh we'll consider Noah. Was not Noah's wife, was not Noah's wife hid from the destruction? Yeah, yeah. Even Noah's uh, sons and their wives were hid from the destruction, but that was all due to what? Noah's righteousness. That's it. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't the Lord didn't call it a woman. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, the, the Lord, it, it, you know, it's not like we diminishing the, the, the role of the woman. The, the woman has a role. Just, a beautiful role. A beautiful role, but it, it just has to be in order. That's all. Yeah. And the way how Babylon have taught us is, is out of order. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's good for a woman to clean and cook. You know what I'm saying? Do chores and, you know, all this and that as a woman. It's, it's good, but it's been played out and being displaced and then it's like and being displayed in the value as money. Mm -hmm. You ain't got this, you can't get yep, that. Yep, yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? You had to buy everything from a woman. And she's never satisfied. She, it, it, that's, that's the point. Because you got multi-billionaires that get this, get divorced. And she take half of it. Yeah. So I was like, damn, this nigga had billions of dollars. He couldn't he could he could provide for you. So now it's more than that. So you see, you can't you can't uh, uh please a woman. That's why it just has to be judgment. Mm -hmm. A woman can't uh in the in the ancient world, a woman could not leave her husband. Okay. And if she committed adultery, she'd get put to, to death. death. Yeah. Because she, if she leave her husband, she, that means she left with, with nothing. Mm -hmm. She didn't own shit. She's actually property. Okay? She didn't leave. With the, those are not your children. Those, they're, they're, They are your children. They came out of you. You see what I'm saying? But in all actuality, those are the men's children. Right. That's you right. Bearing, bearing his seed. That's it. Okay? And women women were basically, uh, uh, you know, assimilated into different households versus your, your, your father's household, your property of your father's household, and he gives you to... Your husband, right. now you property of your husband's household. That's it. But if you you couldn't divorce your husband back then, and even if you tried to, where you gonna go? Back then, men, oh, you 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 got a dude. Ain't nobody trying to deal with no woman with a with a that had a husband. That's right. That was that was looked down upon. But now in this society, that's a nigga don't care. Yeah. He'll come and sneak. He'll he'll right when the, the husband leave for work, he'll come right he in. Right, right in the back door. And clean yeah. it on up. That's right. Okay. Uh, I think I was done on that. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. No, we in Isaiah 32. It says, A man shall be a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place at a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. There you go. So in the time of trouble, all right, a man of the Lord, no, just any old man, but a man of the Lord, all right, will be that hiding place, man, will be that protector, that provider in the time of trouble. That's basically what it's getting down to, man. Time is coming. Jump down. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 32 and 9, it says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Man, come out of what? Come out of that mindset as you've been deceived by the serpent, man. America have been teaching our women for so long. All right, then here it is. Everything supposed to be handed to you, granted to you. You know, but no. All right. Rise up, you women that are at ease. You settle on your lead. You settle. You you cool with the fashion of this world. You know what I'm saying? You cool how things being ran. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, being instructed in this world. You gotta come out of that mindset, cause that's what's gonna get you left behind. All right? You thinking that you ain't gotta do nothing? You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta um, basically humble yourself down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta repent. You ain't gotta feel sorry for. Guess what? You gonna get left behind, man. You know? You got it. Hear my voice, ye careless. And the voice coming through who? Through the prophets. All right, the men of the Lord, man. All right, as we continue to Isaiah 58, one, your ass to death, man. You know, crying out loud, spraying not. Mm -hmm. Lifting our voice up, all right, like that trumpet or either, to give that yep, warning. Or either unto death or unto life. Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? Because you can, you take heed. That's a great thing. That's right. Hey, you, hey, you know. Salvation of them, you take heed. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the Isaiah 4 and 1. Mm -hmm. Because when they start to see all right, motherfuckers dying, 
You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers getting killed. People commit suicide. This and that going on. Food ain't in the grocery store like that no more. Right. That's going to be a big one right there. When the women start to see that, and then that's when reality going to kick in. Yeah. You know, that's why they're going to be like that woman <laughs> riding around looking for a husband. And men in that time is not going to be looking for a woman. They're not going to be looking for a woman. They're going to be looking to survive. There you go. So they ain't going to be on these dating apps and shit trying to get a girl to take on the date. There is no dates. These 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 uh, restaurants are shut down. Uh -huh. Okay, these these uh, uh bars are shut down. These places these places of uh you know uh, congregating and you know socializing that shit shut down. Okay, you, you men men gonna be worried about how they not gonna uh get drafted in the wars. Right. You see what I'm saying? How they not you know how, how they can find something to eat. You see? That's that's gonna be the mindset of the men. You trying to get a man. So she can, so she can. Yeah, she's going to try to get in what she fit in. That's why they ain't going to have no problem with a man having another woman. Oh, that's going to be nothing. She's going to try to get more women to be joined in. You need help? You know what I'm saying? That, that's definitely going to be the mindset of the woman. They don't be giving a damn right now. They don't give a damn. Yeah, right. You know yeah, 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 yeah. What a basketball yeah, player, yeah, football yeah, player, yeah. or rapper. Because they got the what? They got money. Mm -hmm. Money is power. Mm -hmm. So in the time of trouble, what's going to be the power? Wisdom. Yep. Knowledge and what? Understanding. That's uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. So a woman going to be more leaning to a man that have what? Have that, that, that zeal. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah, that spirit of the Lord. Uh-huh. That's right. They going to they gonna know a man of the Lord from, from a, you know, somebody, a regular guy in their day, man. Absolutely. They going to know. It's something about that man. Women women, we, women can be spiritual. You know what I mean? Women can be spiritual at times. Well, they they, they heavy into the left-hand side, so they, they understand signs and shit and certain things like that. You know what I mean? But they gonna the spirit. If the Lord is with, if the Lord is dealing with them, then they gonna see. What well, they've been see, they've been watching us. Mm -hmm. These women, they've been watching. They they gonna know where to turn to if the Lord have mercy. See, because it's gonna be a point to where it, it's not gonna be up to you if we even take you. That's right. It's not gonna be up yeah, to us. Sure. It's not gonna be up to us if we gonna take you in. We might not even. We might just like to see something about you. Read your spirit. Like I don't want to deal with you. Right. See uh, what I'm saying? That's right. So it's hey, but be, that's, it's that's how women do it. That's how women that, do men today. That's what I'm saying. They look at you. I don't like your shoes, bro. You go. I don't you, like your haircut, bro. You bro, know? you go before you even go say something to the woman, bro. The, she go, uh, 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 uh. Like you about to just say, hey, how you doing? Or your your shoes on top. Uh, 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 uh. I be like, God <laughs> damn. Hey, real talk. They shoot your ass out quick. You know what yeah. I mean? Because they had the power to do that. Uh -huh. See what I'm saying? But what happens when the power? And it, man, the Lord is so cold. Well, look at that five by five. When what's happening when the power is exchanged, okay, and passed over to the men, the men of the Lord, though, not just any man. Right. The men yeah, of the you got to continue to make that. You know, got you got to make that uh, yeah. identification there. Yeah. Because it's not just talking about any man. Yeah. Because again, we can go to the scriptures. The the prophet saw men uh, afraid. They saw men uh, for born to fight. They didn't want to, the men of Babylon have for born to fight. Uh -huh. They become as women. As yeah. you know, a woman. They, the man have become as women, and then you're gonna have certain men that's gonna be real men in a fucking crazy time. Right. So where are these women gonna go to? Oh, they want they want that they want that uh, toxic they gonna want that toxic masculinity then. Yes, yes, yeah. Whatever you want me to do, whatever you want me to do. Yeah. They're gonna be oh, you know the bitch giving you attitude and shit. Yeah. Uh, no, no. I guess so. What you got? I was trying to. Uh, he said, Psalms 1085, thy people shall be willing to dead. I uh, power. Oh, is that 1085? Let me see. I wanted to get. Yeah. Uh, okay, one second. Let me see. Because something that you said, yo, Psalms 1083, that's what it is. Yeah, Psalms uh, 1083, you was just talking about how they're going to be willing and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, come on, come on. It says, uh, Psalms 1083, thy people shall be willing. In a day of thy power. They won't say the women's gonna be willing, man. Anything you need, they're gonna be at your at the what beck and call, man. All right, why? Because they're gonna understand the danger that's ahead. That's why Isaiah 4 1 said to take away our reproach. Mm -hmm. All right, because that reproach is coming upon the earth, man. You know, and guess what? It's gonna start at what Israel. You know, what you got it? Yeah, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Yep. In the beauties of the holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. That's it. Yep. So I got this second Ezra 16. Okay. This second Ezra 16 and 32. It says, uh, and the earth shall be laid wasted. 
and the fields of rose shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel there. Well, there you go. The men that till the men till the land. The men keep up on the city. Yeah. They make sure if there's a hole in 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 in, the, in one of the roads. They come. You have men come in. They fill it in. When there's trees that need to be chopped down, when there's uh you know uh fields that need to be sown, fields that need to be reaped, okay, things that need to be packaged, move from one place of the earth to the other, you know uh butchers, people that herd the, the sheep uh -huh. and the cattle and stuff like that, those are all men. Yeah. The men actually maintain the city. Yeah. So when there lights, is no men, the lights, the lights, uh -huh. all that. When yeah. when there is no man. To maintain the city, all this is gonna be desolate, man. Yeah. What then? What you gonna do now? Shit, you like a house. You leave a woman in the house. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You come back two, four years later, that house fucked up because she ain't know how to keep up with the maintenance. Well, even the car. She'll yep. she'll she'll run it without. She'll blow out the engine because yeah, she didn't yeah. get an oil change. Yeah. She'll know how to change the oils. You know what I'm saying? That's a fucked up thing. We don't even know how to change the oil. So when you gotta go, you still depending on the man. Yep, yeah, still depend on the man. Yeah. But it says verse 33, the virgin shall mourn, having no bridegroom. Yeah, these young women, these women without uh husbands, they gon' they gonna uh, mourn. Because it, they not gonna have, you know, uh, uh, a man. They're yeah. not gonna have a husband. A protector. Okay. The woman shall mourn having no husband. Their daughter shall mourn having no helpers. What these women, women out of all, all these women gonna be mourning. The 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 woman with a husband, she gonna be mourning because she gonna be a widow. Her husband gonna die. Yeah. Okay. In the wars shall the bridegroom be destroyed. See, in the wars shall the bridegroom be destroyed. Hey, what's coming? You got civil war. Mm-hmm. You know, you got civil war, and then ultimately what? World War Three. All right, that a lot of niggas gonna get their ass shipped off over there, man. Yeah. You got a lot of jigs that went into the military, you know, some years back, you know, um, you know, for education or just, you know, because they didn't have anything else to do. Yeah, just graduated from high school. Yeah. Now that they, they ass is getting prepped, getting ready to go to war, man. Yeah. All right. And they ain't going to let them out. And then they going to, they going to, they already got the, 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 the documents, you know, on the table to where they can actually, you know, uh, you know, basically draft people. Mm -hmm. And they going to start with the, what, the young man. So a lot of these young niggas, they going to get drafted, man. Yeah, these little uh, young NBA, what, young, NBA, young boy. yeah, young boys. Yeah. Okay, all you little Uzi verts and shit. Okay, you niggas gonna get shipped off. Okay, to these wars, you gonna be put. You gonna be put into these these uh, 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 battalions. Are you gonna be given a, 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 a M16? You gonna get thrown out there on the front line? Hey, hey, man, them fucking Russians, bro. Those are. Bro, those are a different type of Edomite, man. That's a fucking. They, them Russians can go like fucking toe to toe with Jake, and some of them too be actually Jake though. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of them Russians, well, the Scythians started those the and the the, the, the barbarians and Scythians and stuff like that. They pretty much started Russia. Russia was actually started by Israelites. So Russia, in a way, is like similar to America, where you have you have Esau, the ruling class, of course. You have Jake. Then you have Jake yeah. there. Yeah. But then you got a lot, pretty much you got um, a lot of Jake is like Israelite foreigners. Mm -hmm. So they look like the actual Russians as well. You see what I'm saying? Then you got heathens that was mingled in there. So Russia is an actual, I had a dream about that too. Russia is a, is a, is a mingled place. So you got a lot of, you got a lot of uh, Jakes that look like Russians. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. Jake actually started Russia. All right. And then, but them Russians, they, they, that's a different type of Edomite, man. Yeah, they got, that, that's a whole different type of breed. How they, how they uh, train. They don't train in good. They don't train in fur. Well, they train in the snow. In the snow, it's it's always cold in Russia. Uh -huh. You know that, and that cold do something too. Is like it, it hardens you, man. Yeah, Real that tough. cold hardens you. So they 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 they're fucking battle ready, and they believe they believe uh, spiritually that they're gonna win the war. This is a uh, this is a um, a religious war. They actually believe that they're gonna win the war, and if they die, they'll be martyrs. So they coming in a different spirit, man. They yeah, coming like we don't give a right. shit. Yeah. We gonna be martyrs. God is gonna, you know, He's gonna uh, reward us, but we gonna destroy you. So they, they're coming in that spirit, man. You people in America, you love your life. You don't want the you don't want this American nightmare to end. Mm -hmm. You want to continue, but it's it's ending. Okay, and, that, and a lot of the brunt force, 
the brunt anger of the Heavenly Father is going to be upon you women. Okay? It's going to be no longer, I don't need a man. You're going to actually need a man in that time. But see, the Lord might not put you in front of a man of the Lord. Judgment. Yeah, and it's saying, no husband shall perish or famine. Hear now these things and understand them. These servants of the Lord. See, you hear these things. You women coming, you know, you know, coming back to you being an Israelite. You know, you got your head wrapped on now. You an Israelite. You, hey, this shit, this shit, this shit about to pop off. Okay. Now, really, we, you know, it's really a message to the man, but, you know, the woman listens too. That's it. You see what I'm saying? It's going to be certain sisters that's going to, you know, understand on certain levels and, you know, know enough to get with a man of the Lord. And then others that don't, well, it's just judgment. It's not like a big, it's, it's really not a big deal for us. Uh, yeah, play the video about right okay, before we grab the last little piece out. Play this video. That shit ain't going to matter in that day. You know, that's why Isaiah 4 and 1 is written. You want to go? Yeah. Oh, when we go to Isaiah, it's going to go to Isaiah 3. Oh, yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah, 3 yeah, and yeah. 25 and I think 26, last two verses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause it's gonna, you, what you just read in, in 2 Ezra the 16th chapter, it literally says the same thing. You right, that's right. It's Isaiah 3 and 25. Thy men shall fall by the sword. It says the brother was just reading. That men shall fall the sword. That you got the, the uh, you you gonna have the civil war here in America. You gonna have different skirmishes. You gonna have the race wars. Yeah. As well, they gonna be falling. You niggas that you know on some black shit. They gonna be fighting against Esau. Esau gonna mow your ass down. Yeah. So you are gonna be dying there. You gonna be dying in the civil war. Dying in the race war. Dying in the class war. Dying in food wars. See what I'm saying? Marauders. Okay, fighting with your neighbor, as well as getting shipped off to these different fronts. You might get shipped off to uh the war in um taiwan with china mm -hmm. the war in the middle east seeing with hamas and all that and israel and in the war with you know U U ukraine all gonna segue into the middle east that's where the hotbed is gonna really be at uh um uh, yahweh shapat that okay yeah i said and i mighty in the war and her gate shall lament and more, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. See, she being desolate shall sit among the ground. When all your men, all your strong men, said the mighty men. Yeah. So all the mighty men of, of the so-called black man, Native American, they gonna die. Yeah. The most I gonna put them to death. A lot of them gonna die of famine. A lot gonna die for the wars. Yeah. And what are you women gonna do? You see, they gonna be searching. Yeah. That's the Isaiah 4 and 1. That yeah. day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name and take away our reproach. Beautiful. And this, this is going to be the mindset of the women. All right. Let us be called by thy name. And how can, and how can a woman take on a man's last name? By marriage, right? And what is marriage according to the Bible? When two get together and mingle. Mm -hmm. All right, that is marriage, man. Meaning sex. All right, but it's a purpose because two thirds of our people will be destroyed. All right, and with those women clinging on to that one man, all right, and the kingdom of heaven being established on earth will bring back those that, what, been put to death. Yep. That's why. This is going to happen. See, Jay got the mindset of, nigga, I'm going to have 20 bitches. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No. 
I want everything designed by the most high purpose, man. It's a reason why uh, a lot of women's gonna take heed to one man, man. All right, because the scriptures say one should become a what? A thousand. Man should become a thousand, man. So he'll have a lot of women, but he's gonna bring it back to Israelites, man, that was put to death. You know, they know there's mm -hmm. two thirds. You know, that's why Isaiah 4 1 is gonna take place. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and these women don't wanna hear that. Nah, they don't wanna. You know. They don't wanna hear it, but you know what? That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You're just gonna get put to death. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, the women that don't wanna hear it, there's gonna be women that will hear it. That's gonna accept. See, the most high is gonna hasten that. This is not your, your peep, your, you know, little brain can't, uh, you know, imagine that. <laughs> you know, your mind can't imagine that, but the Most High is going to actually make this happen. We're going to actually, Lord's will, we're going to experience it. Yeah. We, we're about to experience all, everything that we were just reading. Second Ezra 16 chapter, Isaiah 3, Isaiah 4, Isaiah 32. You see what I'm saying? Uh, J Jacob's trouble, the hour yeah. of temptation. Second Ezra. Okay. Yeah. So. It ain't like the shit gonna be a prolonged and yeah. put out, you know what I'm saying, for decades, decades. Then we, like I say, we get, you know what I'm saying, we pass away our kids and no, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah. This shit is, this shit is right around the corner, man. Mm -hmm. All right, that's why we, we prophesy how time to wake out of sleep for our salvation and there that we believe. Mm -hmm. World War Three is happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, the Karagma is here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They prepare and take a trouble. These things to happen. You see, here it is. You believe. That's why the scriptures say, "Rise, ye women, die at ease." You know, because trouble is coming. In order for you to be delivered out of that trouble, you will have to have a man of the Lord. And not your ass is fast. That's it. You know, so he calls us out. Hey, you know, uh, we pray. You know, that the the lesson was edifying. You know, to the hopeful elect of Yah Bashem Al Shai. Because uh, we we in that time, man. I mean, really, at any moment, the shit can just pop off, and yep. we we we're you know, our mind our mind is, is on that. Like, okay, we need to be, you know, diligent. We need to make sure you know we got our house in order, get our mind right, right, because we understand that it's right at the door. The Most High is gonna hasten these prophecies. So you know, we want to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rakhakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, Ruel, and peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Hey,